I greet you all in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I bring greeting to you from the Special Ministries Department. Special Ministry is a supporting ministry we have in our division and they are very support in spreading the word of God. Our church has been given the commandment to preach the word of God and to fulfill the mission of God. According to Matthew 28, chapter 18 and 19, we need to go to all the world and preach, baptize and make disciples of all kindred and nation. India is one of the oldest civilization with second most populous country with 2.3% as Christians. India is a land of rich cultural heritage. As the seventh largest country in the world, India stands apart from the rest of Asia marked off as which give the country a distinct geographical entity. God is opening up amazing doors for the proclamation of gospel through Special Needs Ministries. The Southern Asian Division thank God for the providence to have Special Needs Ministries in the division and Pastor Andrew Shanmugam is leading this department. Deaf Ministry North East Andhra Section and East Central India Union has 16 deaf volunteers taking care of more than 25 deaf congregations. Every Sabbath they will have Sabbath school, divine service in sign language. Every Sabbath day is a fellowship day for the deaf congregation. The Southeast India Union also has a deaf church at Tanju where the deaf congregation come and worship the heavenly God, the Almighty every Sabbath. Special Schools the Southern Asia Division operates two special schools to provide education and shelter with all the support. Deaf School Kolegan is a small community of about 52,000 people. This is the only special school for the speech and hearing impaired in this district and such is a vital resource for the local community. In some cases, the school has helped in these assessments, after which admission is granted. Recent assessments indicate that 80% of the students in the school are considered profoundly deaf. As the school is predominantly a boarding facility, they currently only accept students over four years of age into the lower kindergarten LKG class. Currently there are 75 students attending the school, 70 boarding students and 5 day students from the local community. While the South Central India Union is responsible for the engagement and wages of permanent staff, 
Asian Aid provides support for all current students through its sponsorship program and covers 100% of the ongoing operational budget for the institution. Blind School This school was started with seven children and later it was shifted to Bobbili. We started an integrated education program for the visually impaired students. We have 13 acres of spacious school specially built for these visually challenged children with separate boarding facility for both boys and girls. Good, admirable, spacious classrooms with well-equipped furniture. Our school is a recognized unit and we have classes from LKG to 10th standard. Every year, our children get 100% result in public exams and we are proud to announce that about 35 visually impaired children are in government jobs in various fields. Our children participate in various disabled sports and games. All the children were trained in the philosophy of Adventist education. I they I are learn about practice God. to keep the same. I'm going to become pastor. Hopes. The Southern Asia Division presently has four homes to serve and to provide and educate the orphans and semi-orphan kids. Sunshine Orphanage At the moment, there are 38 small children residing in the premises and 29 others who are in higher secondary schools, nursing colleges and other colleges. Over 1,050 students from the surrounding village attend the same. A church was built on campus. The home is indebted to Helping Hand Welfare Society and the Asian Aid Office for children's sponsorship and projects over the years. The South Central India Union has helped with the management. God has certainly guided and blessed this home. Elim Hope The Lord has been blessing Elim children with different talents which had been encouraged to utilize for his service singing, reading the Bible, skits, and AY program. It was really a memorable day for all alien children and staff. As of this year, 83 alien children accepted Jesus as their personal savior. Sunrise Home Sunrise Home was started in the year October 22, 2001 with three children. Now we have 120 children. We started in the rented building while increasing this trend shifted to three buildings. Children, mine and myself, we used to pray for the separate home for children. God heard our prayers. In the year 2012, now number 14, we came to the new home. We have the space for 144 children. Bethel Home So God was so good to all of us and did a miracle in all our lives. God has chosen. God was doing so many miracles in children's life. It was amazing to hear that we have 140 children. God heard our prayers. Many children accepted Jesus as their personal savior. The Great Commission of Mark 1650 Go into the world and preach the good news to everyone. One of the ways to reach the unreached and connect the 
with the word of God through special needs ministries. So I want to thank the field administrators and the field leaders for their tireless work in supporting this ministry. As a division uh, special ministry director, I take this opportunity to thank all the people who are involved in this ministry and promoting. And I pray that God's coming will be very soon. And through this ministry, when Jesus comes, thousands of people from village, from rural, from town, they are going to meet and Jesus and we are going to have a glorious moment when Jesus comes second time to this world. So I pray that we all will look for the glorious day so that, that we will be uh, meet our Jesus with victory in our hand. I pray that Lord's blessings be upon us. Thank you.